So here's the action of adrenaline um, and the transfer of the message from outside inside the cell. So if we label these steps, it's one, two, three. At stage one, we're thinking about adrenaline because it's specific to the OCR course. So adrenaline is the first messenger. So that's going to fit into a receptor site on the cell surface membrane. And you can think about this and further like simplify it as just thinking about a simple lock and key. So it's only going to work in the specific receptor sites. Now when that happens, it has the knock-on effect of adrenaline which activates this enzyme here, which is adenyl cyclase. So that is now active as the uh, adrenaline is in the receptor site. Because of that, it causes adenyl cyclase to convert ATP into cyclic AMP or CAMP. That is called the second messenger and that has now transferred essentially this message from the adrenaline, the first messenger, into the cell which has the effect of activating these enzymes within. So CAMP transfers the effects of hormones like glucagon and adrenaline which can't actually pass through the plasma membrane themselves into the cells. Now when you talk about this it's quite unspecific and I know we're trying to simplify this here as much as we can but this is and specific it's different for every single cell and it's different for these first messengers and second messengers so even with adrenaline in a different cell these enzymes that are activated could possibly be and are going to be different enzymes which have different effects